Hey all over here. Finishing the deviled eggs that I talked about in the first video. I'm gonna show you how I like to build them. Quickest, fastest, easiest redneck is this the way there is. You got your egg, you got the big end, little end. On the big end of your egg, take the butt of a knife, spoon, whatever. Crack your a circle. Put a good size circle. About like yay. Little end. Crack your little circle. That will do. Little end of mouth. Blow. Egg comes out. Perfect. Every time. So. Big end. And don't have to say it's not sanitary or whatever. The eggs are cooked. Your mouth is only touching the shell of the egg that's going with. You ain't touching the actual egg itself. So you don't have to. You can crack them the old fashioned way when you're cooking for people. But every time the egg, I know a lot of time when you crack it. You, you know, smash it, roll in little pieces, crack it, and then you start peeling, you start peeling part of the egg and everything. Once again, perfect egg. Every time I have two, four, six, eight eggs, and I spent probably a minute and a half to crack them that way. Easy way to do it. Then to make the deviled eggs, we're going to show you the next step. Take your egg, slice it down the middle. Gingerly separate them. Your yolk. We'll just put it over here for now. You're going to need that to make the filling, but don't just the tip of your knife. Go in, roll your egg. Work it apart gingerly so. So you don't break it. And I'll show you how to make the filling. Once I get it all cracked in that, we'll be back with you. <clears throat> Alright, we got our eggs cut in half. We have the yolks in a bowl. First thing we're going to do, take a tater masher. And let's mash the yolks. Get them good and mashed up here. Okay. Sorry. So get your yolks mashed up in your bowl. Then you need a little bit of mustard. If 
probably about a teaspoon or so. And we're gonna go with a couple of tablespoons to start with the mayonnaise. You can always add more if you need it. And then a little bit of pickle juice. Just a splash. And we're going to mix that all together. Give it a little taste. See if it needs anything. Maybe a wee bit more mustard. Now you don't have to put the mustard in it. Not everybody likes it with mustard. Not everybody makes it with mustard. I want just a little bit more pickle juice. Now, I'll show you the next step. Okay, to put your filling into your eggs, you can either use the spoon and put them in and try to do it without making a mess, or <coughs> spoon and take and put your filling in a piping bag and pipe it in. Don't have a piping bag, use a Ziploc bag. Just put it in a piping bag, zig block bag. Get it. Get all down in the corner of the bag. Snip the tip off the bag. And lightly squeeze. Fill your eggs. Nice, neat. There's a chunk left in my batter.
Just keep twisting your bag to keep pressure on it. And squeeze and fill your egg. Your egg. Just keep doing it until your eggs are full. And then once you get your eggs fold, fold, once you get your eggs filled, you can either leave them like that or put your paprika across the top. Some people don't like it with paprika, so. And if you run out of filling, just open the, unzip the top of your bag, fill it back up, put more filling in, and Continue. Okay, you get your eggs filled. Fill the hole all the way. Then, if you like the paprika on them, paprika. Don't like paprika? Don't put it on there. When I make these to take somewhere, I normally will like paprika half and leave half plain. Just whatever you do, make sure you have your glasses on when you're doing it and don't put cinnamon on top of them because it's disgusting. <laughs> don't mistake your cinnamon for your paprika. <laughs> I've never done that, but it has been done around this family. We ain't gonna mention any names, but. <laughs> so there you go. Now just put them in the. Uh, fridge let them chill then you can eat them don't forget like favorite subscribe comment any videos you'd like to see below shoot on over bubbles custom gifts subscribe there and i'll catch you all down the road